everybody and welcome back to the vlog today today is the day you guys today is the day i am finally going to decide which piece of artwork goes in which frame if you haven't been following along with this where have you been? As a small recap, I have been selected to showcase some of my artwork in a show in November slash December. And so for the past like two to three weeks, I have been collecting frames to put my artwork into. It is digital art, so I can print it to like whatever size that I need. And I've just been collecting a variety of different sized and styled gold frames. And while I wish that I could get your opinion about like which piece should go in what, um, this vlog will probably go up just before or after I've already handed in all the pieces. So that's unfortunate. As a little backstory to these pieces of art before I show you, because I do have printouts of them from like previous times I've printed these. This was a fourth year project. I took a book design class and we had to, well, create a book. And I have always loved doing a photo manipulation. If you don't know what that is, it's it's essentially where you like, you take a bunch of photographs from, di from different areas, spaces, and kind of put them together into one piece of art. So I decided to take those skills and what I already love doing and turn it into the book. Unfortunately, I don't have the book here with me. I wish I could show you guys. I spent a good chunk of time this morning trying to find it and I just eventually called my mom and I was like do you have it now this book was very special because it wasn't like your typical sized book it was 9 by 16 which if you can imagine is quite tall and thin no regular publisher of books would do this custom size for me because I had to actually like print it and and bind it into a real book and it's not your standard size like standard size is 8 by 10 8 by 12 and I managed to find this custom binder in Toronto he was like downtown I think near Queen. I can't remember his name or anything. And I actually took a whole afternoon. I went down, I went to this print shop. I had all my sheets printed and then I took them over to this guy and he did a fabulous job. Again, I wish I could show you, but I, well, I don't have it. The fairy tales were based on the most original version of that tale that I could find or source. Some of them are obviously newer, like some are grim fairy tales, which are older, but, but in the grand scheme of things, they're a bit newer. And then some were so old that you could only pick out pieces of like what we know from that fairy tale within the story. It was fascinating. And then accompanying the art, which is the book also part of this, I wrote poems based on the stories for all of these. Let me tell you guys, that took me hours, hours and hours and hours of time. All of the people, the princesses, if you will, uh, that you will see in the artwork were either my roommates, my friends, or Kate is in one. So they, they kind of mean a lot to me. And I'm so grateful to everyone who was so eager to be involved in this project of mine. There's eight pieces and they are categorized by, there's two spring, two summer, two fall, and then two winter. And you'll see that a bit through the color palette of them. I'll start with the spring ones, obviously. And this was probably the most popular, I would say, of of all of them. This is the princess and the pea. There's a bit of a glare on this, but there is one of my roommates and then I have her atop of a bunch of these mattresses with the little pea right there. This is what we know as Sleeping Beauty, but it's also not what we know as Sleeping Beauty. The story, original story is actually quite different. So here it is, this is Kate. There she is, there she be. And as you can see, she is in this, she's pregnant. So like I said, the story's a bit different. We then move on to the summer portion of this. This is The Little Mermaid. Again, this is based on a grim fairy tale. You can see the sword or the dagger, sorry, down there at the bottom. And then on top here, we have the ship. And then we have the princess and the frog. So here we have another one of my roommates. So nice. I actually had her looking over a bathtub. So funny. And you have the well right there. And here we have the ball that she drops down at the bottom of the well. And now we have the fall ones. Here we have uh, Rapunzel. Again, another one of my nice roommates. There we go. Her up in her tower. Now this this one, this next one is probably the darkest, or it is actually the darkest of all of them. And this is 
Snow White, but if you actually read the original tale of Snow White, there's a lot of Sleeping Beauty in it as well. I think probably both stories were derived from this original tale. And here it is, you guys, another one of my roommates. I will say that all of this bruising and stuff on her face was done in Photoshop. She has a knife right there. Uh, she's kind of locked in her little tower, so there you go. And the last two ones are my winter ones, La Belle et la Bête, which is Beauty and the Beast. And this is an old childhood friend of mine who so nicely did this for me. You can see she's holding a rose and what most people don't notice is there's the beast right there. And last but not least, we have Cinderella. Here we go. So this is Cinderella. Again, another one of my nice roommates. She's walking, walking in the snow and she's just gone to go visit her mother's grave right there. And the tree, if you know the story, the tree is important. That is the last one. So those are them. That was a university project of mine. And now I've got to decide which one goes in what frame. And a lot of it is going to have to do with, you know, how popular of a print they are. And then also the mat. I do need the mats to match the artwork a little bit. So let's get to it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm probably just going to like move things around. And once I decide on an order, then we can like talk about it a little bit. Ah, I'm kind of nervous actually. Let's do it. Okay, so I've laid out all the frames <laughs> and uh, I think I'm just gonna start like putting, putting the artwork on top. I don't know. I had originally thought Cinderella would go in here, but I think with the mat, it doesn't quite work. The mat's like kind of pink. See, the thing is I really wanted to put Princess and the P in that one, like the big, big one, the big guy over here. Oh, that would look so good. I haven't, I haven't even really started and already I'm having a tough time. Like Rapunzel could also work in here. Hmm, that would look good. Eh, I don't know. Okay, I, I have to ask Instagram. I think that the Sleeping Beauty one's sort of like a shoe in for this frame. It's just, it's perfect. So that one's gonna sit in there. That one is perfect. And see, I had thought Rapunzel for this one because you can see how the mat looks like good with it. And then it kind of lends itself to, the original one was longer. The original one was like here, this one's been cropped for the printing. So the hair does go like down here. So I feel like, I feel that works really well. Okay, I put a few polls up on Instagram. I always feel awkward when I do that because it's suddenly like I'm spamming stories when I barely post sometimes. But hopefully this will help me a little bit. I don't know. I'm already getting conflicting messages. Ah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which one. This is gonna be so hard because there's a couple of them that could fit in a couple of frames and there's some that I really do wanna showcase more than others. Mm, the smaller frames I'm not so worried about. It's the larger frames because those ones are like the statement pieces and those ones need to be perfect. Like some are already tied. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh... Okay, so while I've been waiting for the votes on Instagram to come in, I decided to work on my vlog and it's pretty much done, which is good. I really wanted it up today, but I'm not putting pressure on myself. It could go up tomorrow. And then also you guys, there's figure skating on TV. I love watching figure skating during the Olympics. And so I just had this on. It's incredible. I've been desperately missing Dancing with the Stars. I freaking love that show. And so this is kind of like, my Dancing with the Stars today. I just love watching dancing. I have actually considered doing some like ballroom dancing myself, like signing up for classes. I think that would be so awesome. It just goes back to my synchro days. Like I want to move. I want to, I want to dance. I want to know how to dance because I'm sure I'd suck. Like even with my knowledge of movement and counting and whatnot, once you add in some choreographed footwork, I'm like a disaster. I may actually now, it's beautiful outside. Oh my God. Blue, blue skies today and just, the light on the trees is magical. What I've actually really wanted to try doing, and I might do that today since it's Saturday. I've got nothing really to do today. And I feel like that it needs a good excursion outside. He needs some exercise. I might do my first like official hot girl walk. Bennett and I go for a walk every single day, but we haven't gone for like a designated hot girl walk, which was huge in the summer and it's not the summer anymore, but I feel like I could still get away with it because it's, it's not too cold outside yet. I did some research and they say that a hot girl walk is like 3.5 to 4 miles, which is roughly like six, six and a half kilometers because my watch is in kilometers. So I think I might try that. And if I do that, I have to leave like right now. Maybe I'll put on my coat, get Bennett ready. I'm always hearing banging. Like my neighbors are always banging the walls and it's not to me. You can tell it's like they're nailing stuff in, but I'm like, how many picture frames can you put up? Okay, walk time.
This has felt like the laziest morning ever, but it hasn't been because I did a workout with a friend this morning. I finished, like fully, fully finished my YouTube video that will go up today. What else did I do? Like I made a full on breakfast. I've had a shower. I took Bennett out. Like I've done stuff this morning. It is now almost though 1230. So we are fully in afternoon, but it's okay. I'm sure you guys saw, but this morning was the foggiest morning I have seen since moving to Toronto. So in the past couple of years, like I woke up and from my bedroom, like when I'm lying in bed, I can kind of see a sliver of the sky and whatnot. And it was just white. And I, for a moment thought, oh my gosh, is it snowing? And then I come out here and I look and it's just like white. It was crazy. And it's cleared up now. Like I'm looking and skies are blue again, but like it was probably like that until about 11 a.m. Like just fog, perfectly creepy. I hope it's like that tomorrow. Tomorrow is Halloween. So if it's like that tomorrow, it would be so, so perfect. Get it? Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, you wild child. I'm probably gonna be going for a walk with Kate soon. I don't know, I haven't heard from her about that. And my legs feel like jelly. Yeah, yes, are you looking at the camera? I'm not sure why, but my camera told me I was out of space. And when I went to go investigate, I had tons of space. So I don't know what happened just there. My camera was being weird. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, today is a very chill day and I needed this day. Like I needed a nothing is happening day. Yesterday was kind of like that, but not quite. There is something about a good Sunday that just makes you decompress. And actually so many times yesterday, I thought yesterday was Sunday thinking today was Monday. So it almost feels like I got an extra day to the weekend. Bliss, love that for me. I'll probably check in when like Kate actually texts me and says she's ready to go because I'm just sitting here watching TV and being a total couch potato. Kate has given me the green light, so Bennett and I are about to head out. I'm just gonna give you a bit of a OOTD. I've got, I'll start with, this is a Gymshark sweater that Kate got me. I love it because it's like really cozy, but it's also lightweight. It's probably the most lightweight sweater that I own. And so I love it for being around my apartment because my apartment can get quite hot. And then on top of that, I have my Aritzia Ghana jacket. I love this jacket so much. I get so many compliments on it every single time I wear it. It is just the easiest jacket to put on over anything and you instantly look a little more stylish. And on my feet right here, I'm wearing the classic, the white Keds. This pair has been used so much, so loved, so worn that there are actually holes on the bottom. Then on top of my head here, I just have a pair of cheap Amazon sunnies. These are so great. I have a small, small head and these are sized a little bit tinier, so they fit me. I really, really like them too. So if you have a small head face like me, I will link these down below and you should check them out. Okay, it's 101. So we're gonna head out and go see Kate, little walk. And also Alex apparently has the cutest Halloween costume and I'm gonna go take pictures of him. Super adorable. Okay, let's go. Stop yet. it! I know, wait. He's in costume. <laughs> Hi, my little man. Thanks, kids. Got the kids. Got the kids. Right. Which one's mine? This one. Thank you. Big one. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do it. <laughs> Alex, you want to hold it? Tickle. Tickle. There we go. Yay. Oh my god, that is the money shot. How happy are you? Like beyond beyond anything that they are. We got some really cute ones, you guys. They're so cute. They I'm, are so cute. I'm gonna be editing them tonight, 100%. Everything that I wanted for his first Halloween costume <laughs> is like, oh And I also got some with him because we're, we were matching when he was in costume, so. Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I am showered now, clean, new hair, ready for braiding. By the way, just an update on the picture frames. I think I have it almost clear. I'm still undecided on a couple of them. And I think this is where I'm gonna end this vlog. So if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you're new and hit the bell if you want to get notified as to when I will be posting next. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.